ladies and gentlemen, I am the Sarcastic Bomb and welcome to the channel. And yes, there's no intro this week because of last week's slight little hiccup with copyright. Which after like several years of using the same song is really sodding annoying. And yes, I'm already drunk. Now we can't swear just as yet because there's the whole intro bit with YouTube and all that jazz where you can't really swear in the first few seconds. So that's really frustrating. Hmm. But we've got a nice little video set up for you tonight, which I saw recently shared tonight on Facebook. It wasn't the video I had planned to do, but I thought, <gasps> it's a TikTok video. It's going to be amusing as sin. So we better cut to the video, laugh our tits off. And I think we're now at the point where we can fucking swear. Woo! I want to preface the next words that are going to come out of my mouth with this. This is going to sound crazy, but what if I told you the World Cup had attributes to it that, that actually suggested that the Earth is flat? I'd say that I want whatever drugs you're taking, because apart from the badly photoshopped image of the trophy compressed to a flatness, there really isn't anything. I mean... If you've had your brain surgically removed and then shoved up your rectum by a big bloke called Andre the Giant, then, yeah, I could see why you'd think it'd be flat. Because then you'd be thinking the lack of direct flights years and years ago between Australia and South America and the team. But then saying that, that wasn't World Cup. That was just something else. So... No, you'd have to be a complete moron to bring up something like that. Flat? I know what you're thinking. That is the most illogical bullshiz I've ever heard in my entire life. But allow me to explain. It wasn't that they were kicking around a ball that suggested that the Earth was flat. It was the flight home. And for all the people that are seeing this that aren't familiar, let me give a little bit of context. There's a lot of emergency flight path landings that don't make sense if the Earth is a ball. No, no, the, the emergency landings make perfect sense if you've done basic research into a fucking globe. If you're a gullible fucking twat, do no research and just say things because you think that's how the world works, then yeah, you go with the flat Earth I do. Yeah, this flight here that goes from there to there makes no sense to land up here. On a ball, though, it does, because greater circle routes come into effect. The shorter flight distance isn't necessarily a completely straight line. On a ball. Flat surface, yes. Ball, no. And we know from the basic prefix of what you were looking at before, we're talking about the 2022 World Cup in Qatar. So we're going from Qatar to Rome to Argentina because of no direct flights. We'll get to that bit in a minute. Which is about 15,000, 15,500 kilometres. Not really an issue. Now, if you're going to go from Qatar straight to Argentina, you're looking at about 13, 14,000 kilometres, depending exactly where you want to stop. Blah, de, blah, de, blah, de, blah. Now, uh, Qatar, yeah, probably a relatively busy airport. Direct flights to South America, probably not so much. Whereas Rome, nice big international airport in the middle of Europe, far more likely to have those connection flights. It's worse that if you plot it out on a flat earth, it's really not going to work. I really hope you're going to plot it out over a flat earth because it's going to make so little sense to do a direct flight anyway. Oh, but then you're going to say, this one, yeah, we'll, we'll get to that when we get to it, while I pour another fucking drink. Spinning around the sun, or spinning it all. Take this flight, for example. From Argentina to India, and they emergency landed in Amsterdam. <laughs> Sorry, are we mixing up commercially viable routes with emergency landings? Because the picture behind you says this flight can only happen with a stopover in Europe. You're not saying it was an emergency landing. That's, well, you are saying that. That's not what the picture's saying. Because otherwise you'd link the flight number that had to have an emergency landing there. 
So I'm going to call bullshit on that one. Unless you're then going to go and provide some stuff. And then we can look at it. I mean, at least if I say a flight from, say, South America to Australia, New Zealand, Australia. QF64. Someone's going to correct me on that in the fucking chat. Or in the comments. Please do, if I'm wrong. Drunk. Drunk. Jaeger bombs. Machine's been on. Had friends. Beer pong. Awesome. But yeah, there are direct flights between Southern Constants, which really doesn't make sense on a flat Earth. But commercially viable, they must be. Because this is what you're looking at. It's not the distances and things like that. Well, there is distances involved. But it's the commercial viability of the route. Are there enough passengers willing to pay exorbitant amounts of money to go on this flight to make it worth paying the pilots and paying the fuel and paying the tax on the plane, running shit on the plane? All of that shit. It's a business. And it just shows that flat earthers have no business acumen. So, well, there should be a direct flight here. It's not worth it. There's not enough people wanting to go there. Whereas if it's flying to, say, Amsterdam or Rome or Paris, it then there might be people from North America also wanting to go to India. They're getting a connecting flight. People from South America, connecting flight. People from Europe. You then end up with a full plane going to India. Full commercial viability basic fucking business acumen <sighs>
So, instead, what's probably going to be the easiest to do? Take the normal commercial flights, go up to Rome, probably share the fucking plane with the French team, who, yeah, yeah, we'll drop you off because we're all getting pissed on the plane, it doesn't matter. Saying that France probably got a direct flight back. I don't fucking know. I don't even know who's in the quarterfinals, semifinals, or any of that shit. I had to Google who's in the final because it's football and it sucks ass. But the fact there is a direct flight from Doha to Sao Paulo fucks up your entire argument to start with. Commercially viable routes, though. Make sure there's people going. There's obviously more people from Brazil who like to go to Qatar than there is from Argentina. There probably is a f connecting flight from Argentina to Brazil. It just might not have been in time and lined up nicely for the players. So what's better? A short layover in Rome, probably in the first class lounge with lots of people with lots of money. Or go to Brazil and hang about there with all the drug dealers. Not that I think fucking Brazil is full of drug dealers or anything. But hey, fucking Brazil. <sighs> Argentina is probably not much better. Anyway, that's the actual end of his video. I was going to do a little cut there back to his video and realise I can't because it's finished. But Flat Earth Research, once again, sucks fucking balls. The lack of understanding on flight routes sucks fucking balls. If anyone's found the emergency landings he's claimed to happen, please show me. Otherwise, please send him a picture of your balls so he knows what he's going to be sucking on. If you don't have balls, boobs will do. If you don't have boobs, um, big toe. Pinky toes, they're just weird. Pinky toes get far too much crap stuck in between them. So, please remember that one. Anyway, I think, yeah, that will do as a video tonight. It's a short one. It's a drunk one. It's a, I'm going to have to upload this Thursday morning because it's now 20 past 3 on Wednesday night. One, and I need to finish the editing bits for it. Even though I've edited, I've gone long. I better check it. Oh, I'm going to have to upload it now. Fuck. 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 Thank you very much. Members, Patreons, everyone who likes the video, comments the video, you all make these videos possible and you allow me to fuel my drunkism. It's not alcoholism because I don't go to meetings. I'm just a drunk. So, see you all on the next one where I plan to be slightly more sober depending on what we do. I've got some evolution videos downloaded, some goddy videos downloaded, some more flat earth shit downloaded. Don't forget you can follow me on Twitter which is where I spend most of my time because Discord has bored me. Very sorry, I will check in every so often and send people messages if you message me. Facebook bores me and I forget I have a fucking Facebook. This video actually came from Twitter, not Facebook. I just can't be asked to re-record the very first clip because drunk. Yeah, shouldn't be drinking sort of this time. So, yeah. <sighs> Good night.